Self-doubt always comes at the wrong time. And when it enters the equation, when you're standing on top of a ski slope, that's 3,500 vertical feet. Now I hung out with friends that were slightly elevated as far as ability was concerned. And if I wanted to keep up with my friends, I had to keep up with my friends. They told me to go up on that lift chair and that's the best way to go down. So I figured, sure, these guys know what they're doing. I'll follow them anywhere. But then once I got up there, what the hell am I doing here? But once I stopped, focused, I went for it. I just put that self-doubt behind me. Once I stuck my skis down and grabbed that first edge, I knew it was behind me. Yeah, I fell a couple of times, but I did make it. And it was the best run of my life. And I skied all over the country because of it. And all of the money that I spent on all my ski equipment warranted that one instance. That one instance defined everything that I had to do as a skier. And that was it. The following summer, my friends, who were slight adrenaline junkies, thought it would be a good idea to jump off a bridge with a rubber band tied to their ankles. I figured, sure, watching people jump and go and go and go. And it doesn't matter how many people you see going. When I decided to take a flying leap and do that swan dive, and then that adrenaline just rushed through me. As soon as that recoil comes up, whammo, there's that adrenaline. And then everything just starts to just flow. And you can't sleep for about two days after it, but it was worth it. It made me want to achieve more and go further and, and just strive for a little bit higher and warrant all the things that I thought I would want to do. And I ended up doing more because I eliminated that self-doubt. And that was the best jump I had ever made. And I'll never do it again, I can guarantee you that.